my name is Selena Fisher. Um, my piece is called Torino Echoes on Prutorino Improvisations by Rob Thorne for String Quartet. My piece was commissioned by Chamber Music New Zealand um, for the New Zealand String Quartet um, and they sort of mentioned a theme that I could possibly have in mind and um, that was uh, Māori music and that's an area I'd never really looked into before so I did quite a lot of um, reading and listening and I came across a really fascinating instrument called the putorino um, which is a sort of flute and trumpet at the same time um, and you can it's sort of about this big and you can um, play it from the end as a flute or trumpet and also across the middle and it's the, the um, shape is based on a case moth New Zealand case moth cocoon and is said to embody um, the goddess of music in so I thought that was a really fascinating story and then um, when I went to go and Find recordings, I came across um, this really beautiful recording of Rob Thorne um, on YouTube actually. He was playing it in a tunnel and um, totally fell in love with that. reached out to him and it just so happened that he lives in Palmy, so not too far away and he was yeah he was really excited about what I wanted to do which was sort of exploring um, what the Putorino could do through string instruments. I, I found like they really worked together in a way and um, yeah I kind of wanted to know what it was that I was hearing that I was so sort of attracted to in, in the Putorino sound um, so I wanted to transcribe and so he actually came down to Wellington a few times or we Skyped as well um, and I learnt heaps about the instrument and about much more than that and um, yeah and I, I got to play violin with him as well which was really special and yeah he's been a huge part of it. Yeah. Uh, rather than having uh, Taonga Porto in the piece, it's actually just for string quartet, but they sort of um, play things that are based on transcriptions I did of his improvisations. So he, yeah, he's very much part of the piece. Um, the, the title has his name in it. There's a lot that string instruments can do that sounds a lot like the Pretorino, I think. Um, and so I would transcribe as best I could what I was hearing. And there's a lot of um, microtones, there's a lot of pitch bending, and the rhythms don't sort of fit into Western notation very well. So it was quite, um, it looks quite complex <laughs> on the page. Um, but there are these sort of beautiful long lines and um, pitch bends and things so um, yeah you yeah, know it was it was fun I like transcribing <laughs> it's a good challenge what I did was come up um, transcribe what I could from from the YouTube recordings and also from recordings that we did together um, and I use that sort of as a base for the material that I composed with so there's not one recording that I've transcribed yeah 
eclectic because um, I was also interested in the idea of uh, yeah, layering the sounds and also the echo, which was part of the original recording that I really liked. He was in this very resonant tunnel and yeah, had a lot of fun sort of playing with some of the qualities of the sound in that, that space. What was really great was that Rob was able to come to the first few rehearsals with the quartet and actually play the Pretorino to them so they knew exactly what kind of sound I'd heard. I think something that was interesting was hearing it in different spaces, so first in that, um, in a small dry rehearsal room um, and then to the performance in the Michael Fala Centre when it was, um, it was like a much more sort of echoey space, almost like a kind of tunnel between you and the quartet so um, yeah and I've heard it in the Adam concert room as well so it seems to change a lot depending on the space that it's in more than other pieces that I've heard or written um, so it's been kind of fascinating because I just feel like it sounds like a different piece almost in different um, different rooms. It feels really, really amazing to be a finalist in the Sounds Contemporary Award. Um, I got to experience last year what it was like to attend the Silver Scrolls and it's really, really amazing to be there. It's not like anything else I've been at. Um, and just to be, just have classical contemporary music, um, yeah, recognised in the wider New Zealand music scene um, feels really special. Yeah, unfortunately I won't be able to be there this year because I'll be in New York. Um, I really wish I could be there, it's a fantastic event. Mm -hmm.